Hey there guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy 2. That opening sounded really weird. Okay, I'm just gonna keep it and roll with it. So, we're gonna do the Prankster Comet in Spinded Galaxy this time. Man, suddenly my mind is not into this, considering mentally I was telling myself, restart that opening, restart that opening, that was dumb, you sounded weird. However, it is what it is, and now I gotta get back into the mindset of Digilade's Daredevil Run. So... Yeah, basically, is this the first Daredevil run we've done? No, didn't we do... This might be the first Daredevil run we've done. Basically, you only get one chance. And no, no hits allowed. However, the nice thing is, for the most part, they will get you directly to... A lot of times, Daredevil runs are bosses. So they will bring you directly to the boss. Uh, which is very convenient. Oh, a little too early there. Uh, however, it still drilled the, the stupid guy who was drilling through. Um, otherwise, I mean, they'll, the Daredevil run might sometimes be for a level. That's fairly uncommon, however. Also, he just killed his own drill. What a retard! Uh, considering I didn't kill it for him that time, because I was what a retard. Uh, oh, and I did take out the third one, and... Now, are you gonna switch over? Yes, you are. And hit it! Yes! Okay. Just one more... Uno Mas time, and this shall be Psy... What the heck? Was... Wait, what? I've never had that happen before. That was... that was quite a... quite a thing. Um, I, maybe I just happened to come through at the right time, and like, it just kind of squeezed me on top of him? I wish I would have tried the drill while I was up there. Um... What? 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 What is going on with Diggleleg right there? What? That was the craziest glitch fest-tasticness I've ever had the pleasure of being a part of. Like, I don't even rightly know what happened. Was it just the first time that I glitched him out? He just kind of went crazy? and became, became super glitchy for the rest of the attempt. Like, that was quite a thing. I, what, one, once again, with the glitchiness, what? This, I've never had this problem before. Um, I'm not sure if I am doing something wrong or if somehow I broke the game and now it's doing something wrong or what but I truly have never seen glitches of this magnitude. We cannot repel glitches of this magnitude. Okay, see? That was more more legit, and now let's hit him. Thank you. Just one more time. Okay, there was nothing there was nothing difficult about that. I don't know why I am feeling so glitchiness right now. See, there was one, and now he's gonna hit it again, and uh, okay, once again, we're back on track. Okay. Let's not have any weird I teleport through you, or I somehow fall off this platform in which you can only move one direction. Uh, if we don't have any more of that, that would really just really make my life a lot easier. And I won't have to re-record this. Okay, flip yourself and doink! Okay, that's, that's all I was asking for, really, was just a, a quick painless death for you. But you and your glitchiness just had to... had to cause yourself more pain inevitably by making me essentially kill you twice. So, I mean, maybe you're just a masochist, but I don't understand. Really? <laughs> I try to show off, and it just doesn't end up working out for me. Okay, that is what it is. I gotta gl get over that glitch festness that's done. It, it happened, it's done. It is what it is. Okay, well, at least I have proof on video that it happened to me, and I'm not just going crazy. Now that we've done that, we can just go straight to Tree Trunk Galaxy, I think. Man, Prankster Comet's Delore. So it's gonna be Tree Trunk and then Hightail Falls. Gotta suffer through Tree Trunk and then I can go have fun in Hightail Falls. You'll see, I think I mentioned it actually when we were at Tree Trunk Galaxy, why I would not look forward to the Prankster Comet for it. However, you're about to find out why. <laughs> oh man. Oh, wait, no. Uh, yes. Yes, Tree Trunk. Fairly certain this is the one. Uh, I believe it's Slide Purple Coins. Uh, Tall Trunk's Purple Cloin... Cloin... Coin Slide. Okay. Well, I have good news and I have bad news. The good news is there's more than 100 purple coins, so you don't need to get them all. 
The bad news is there's only like 120 or 110 or something, so you don't get to miss many. Um, do one of these guys tell me how many there are? Maybe you? A head. Help. Okay, well, thank you, Triangle Head. Uh, that was completely not helpful. Oh, do you tell me? Talk. Yes, okay. Purple coins. I had 140. Oh, okay. Well, I guess there's more than I thought. Maybe I'm thinking of a different one where you can only miss, like, 10 or so. Uh, okay, well, that's just a terrible start, missing one right off the bat. Two, even. Okay, and here we want to flip over because if we just go... I should get my pointer out of the way. That's what I should do. That's probably screwing me over. Okay, and now if we come straight down here, we can get a, a bunch. You're, I don't think it's actually possible to get all 140 of these. Um, I'd be more than happy to be proven wrong if any of you guys have, like, a... That was dumb of me. I should not have flipped over. Actually, no, that, that'll work out because I can get these. Um, if any of you guys have a video of someone getting 140 of these, I'm. it might actually be possible on YouTube. I don't know. Um, or if you guys think you can get more than I can... Um, this is just my first run. However, um, if I pass this time, hopefully I'll have a decent amount. Hopefully more than 100. Uh, well, I would need that many to pass. Um, but I'd be more than, more than happy. In fact, I'd be excited to see video responses from you guys about how many you can get. So I got 105. Um, that's actually pretty easy to beat. So if any of you guys feel like, uh, recording and uploading, I will definitely accept it as a video response. Um, I don't know. I don't know if you guys are actually into that kind of stuff, or if you guys have the setup to record. I just think that's kind of, kind of fun. I'd like to see, I'm trying to figure out how to make things more interactive between us. Because sometimes I feel in these Let's Plays where it's not like me playing a blind Final Fantasy, where I take your advice in between every episode, um, I feel like the interaction between us goes down. And that makes me sad, because this is a Let's Play. Not a let's watch me play, as I always say. Um, that was that was just rhymes for day, uh, for days rather. Mm. Well, hey, let's just do high tail falls, eh? <laughs> uh, that was fun. I like rhyming and stuff, and that wasn't the best rhyming ever. A couple of those were kind of forced, but that was still that was still a thing. It went on for a while. It was fun. I enjoyed it. I hope you had fun as well. Um, okay, so speed run, and this time we have falling rocks everywhere. Uh, no, those are way too far away to get sad, because that's a lot of star bits that I would really like to have inside my body. Ah, uh, okay, so this, of course, Hightail Fall is mostly to do with Yoshi. Um, this time it is, as you can see, broken. There are a lot more holes in the platforms and stuff, and a lot more of those assholes just waiting to suck your Yoshi away. So, I love this music. Just watch yourself. It is, while it is a speed run, it's also a lot more dangerous. As you can see, there were holes in the middle of that platform, just waiting for me to arrive and then suck everything of mine away and put me into the hole and never dig me out. And it was just, it was not going to be good, whatever it was. And I'm just missing star bits all over the place here. At least I got all those coins. I mean, gotta count your blessings, I suppose. And I totally missed that big bowl of star bits up there. It's like a big bowl of Halloween candy, but it was only star bits. But I totally missed it, because I didn't go high enough to see it. So, I don't know. Either way, a good thing you can still jump when you are red super fire truck Yoshi. I mean, that's honestly what you are. You can hear him making that wee 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 sound. I mean, it's fire truck Yoshi. He's speeding down the road uh, on fire. The fire truck itself is on fire. Not bothering to put itself out. Only having concern for the citizens of America. Um, this part, Danger Town, because those things are parallel, uh, with the entire platform, so you will hit them if, like, you go over where they are. Um, that's not the best way to describe that. However, if I would have run into, like, vertically where that thing was, yes, I would have run into it, because it was right there just waiting for me. Um, okay, let's see if we can do this this time, eh? Um... No, I can't. Okay. I'm not going to try to do the Yoshi Infinite Flutter Kick. I used to have that down pat where I could just do that every time. Just get the backflip jump. And yes, your spin is neutered, but you can use the spin to move yourself over to um, over to the platform, and then you can wall jump off of it. But I can't seem to get it right. So, I mean, honestly, it doesn't matter. It's not like it was any faster. It was just a cool little thing to show off. I mean, that's kind of what I'm doing in this entire game is just showing off. Trying to show off 
flaunt my skills or lack thereof. I mean, I'm not great at this game. I'm not bad by any by any means. I don't think. Um, maybe I am. Maybe you guys think I'm terrible. Um, however, I digress. It is what it is. That was just me showing off. Okay, so we can finally feed this Mr. Luma Luma. Uh, for some reason, I thought we had done the 700 one. However, I guess we must have done the 300 one earlier. Yes, let me feed you. I do have some star bits. Let me aim carefully at you so I do not waste any on accident. There you go. You got... It's like Blueberry from Willy Wonka, except Pinkberry. What level is this again? Is this... Uh, is this the rolly long one? No! That looks like it has clouds in it, though, so I'm excited to do it, whatever it is. Let's get that out of the way right now, too. I mean, this has just been Prankster Comets, now it's Honey Bloom. Oh, yeah, Honey Bloom. Honey Bloom. I remember you. In the mountains. We come from Bumble Beginnings. Oh. Just like Chugga, never laying off on those puns. Chugga being the purple, the purple guy. If you haven't seen any of my stuff prior to this, um, because of his puns, I call the purple guy Lubba, I think his actual name is. I call him Chugga. Um, <laughs> Chugga, I'm sorry if you're offended, but don't be offended. It's, it's affectionate. It really is. It, I promise it's me just... I can't say nice, nice enough things about you. Do not, Goomba. You are a Goomba. Prepare to die. Turn yourself into health for me. Thank you. With your death, I shall gain life. It's like a poem. Actually, that is kind of poetic. Um, okay, so... Oh, no, I want to get up there, I think. Yeah, way to catch that thing in midair, Mario. You are just so pro. There's a reason I keep you around. And it's not just so that I continue, can continue playing this game. Okay, yeah, so here's your first star. That took me a little while to, to find my first playthrough. I think that's so neat, though. That's such a neat little... Just a hiding place. I mean, it's like a little alcove. I would gladly spend my time in that little waiting pool there with flowing water that would never actually work. However, I'd spend time up there. I'd sit there with my with my socks off, with my feet in that waiting pool, reading a book or something. That'd be way fun. Secret wall jump. That just brings back terrible memories of wall jumping in Mario Galaxy, or Mario Galaxy, in Mario 64. That ice level. Chaja, what do you want? Yes, we have a bee on board. I'm sorry you're allergic to bees. However, I really don't want to hear it. I just want to get back to that level and do the non not so secret star. Uh, Yoshi, come here. Prepare to waste yourself um, with me. There we go. Okay. Well, I mean, that glitch is useful sometimes, I suppose. Uh, ooh, my joystick was all messed up there because the camera totally changed directions. Mid, mid joystick thing. So back to Honey Bloom, we are gonna do the real star this time. Not the oh so pretty, I feel pretty today star. That other star just flew off into the background. It's just like we had already gotten it and we weren't getting it this time. I never really noticed that those stars that you don't choose at the beginning of the level, they kind of just fly off into space. I never really noticed that before. Well, that's neat. Uh, there's nothing down there as I recall. Um, however, as I was saying, that Mario 64 ice level the first ice level that you run into. I cut off the music! Oh, I'm so sorry! That music is so good! Um, yes, we are B-Mario, we can fly. That's pretty much all that there is to be said about B-Mario. Back to Mario 64, far more exciting! Um, yeah, the first ice level, the, the three-star door. Um, the wall jump you have to do in that one gave me so much ire as a kid. Like, I could never, ever seem to get it right. Um, just those precision things. However, ever since then, wall jumping has been, like, my favorite thing. Because once I mastered that, I mean, now that I can do that pretty much every time, all wall jumping is just the easiest thing ever created. And, I mean, it really isn't the easiest thing ever created, but compared to that, anything is nice. As you can see, you would get a nice little preview of the star back there, and you'd have to try to figure out how to get it if we hadn't already gotten it. But we have already gotten it, so don't worry about it. Uh, yes, we don't need those coins, however. So bounce and refill your fly a little bit. <sighs> refill your fly. That sounds so wrong on so many levels. Um, oh, no, no, okay. Bounce. That was not good. At least they give you a convenient little rope down there. So 
So just in case you do screw up, like I just did there, you at least not die instantaneously of horrible, horrible falling death. Falling would have to be, like, falling from some kind of tower. Like, I always say, like, falling into a chipper would be one of the worst ways to die. And I mean, it kind of would be in some aspects, but at the same time, like, for instance, say you fell off a really, really tall building or something. That would be one of the worst ways to die, simply for the amount of time that you have to think about the fact that I am about to die, and there's nothing I can do about it. Like, if I was falling off of the Empire State Building or something, I, why can't I do this all of a sudden? These fuzzies are the worst guys. They have no respect for me and or social norms, and I just, I can't, I can't get along with people who do, who do not understand social etiquette. And these fuzzies, they're just fuzzing all over the place. But if I was falling off the Empire State Building, as I was saying, getting back to the main, albeit weird, subject, um, having that, like, 10, 15 seconds, I don't know how long it would take to fall off the Empire State Building, having that much time to think about the fact that, well, one, I'm falling, I'm free-falling, this is actually kind of neat, not the Tom Petty song. That song's pretty good, too, though. Um, however, like, I'm falling off of this thing, and there's nothing I can do about it. I'm about to hit the ground. I really, really hope it's painless. And then, like, thwack. But that would be so... not... fun. That would be a crappy way to die, because... What would you think about? Would you really be thinking about, I'm about to die? Or would you be, like, that kind of, like, your life flashes before your eyes kind of thing that I've never experienced? because I've never been that close to death, or what? I don't know. That just, the unknown of that is what freaks me out, I suppose. Cause like, death can be scary sometimes, I don't know. Let's stop talking about this, or rather not let's. How about I stop talking about this? Because that's just depressing, <laughs> frankly. And this is Super Mario Galaxy 2, and I'm a bee. I'm a bee, I'm a bee, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a bee. Yeah, like that. That's not depressing at all. So let's, don't worry, be happy. Another very good song. Um, however, I cannot seem to think of who that's by at the moment. Um, it's not Huey Lewis in the news, but I, I, maybe it's one of those like something and the something. It's not Hootie and the Blowfish, I don't think. Um, I don't remember. One of you guys, I'm sure, will know. You can tell me. Or I can look it up later. But I'll probably forget. So feel free to tell me. Because I do not remember. We got a star. Yes, we did. How exciting. B. The B forces you to slow down so much. That was probably like a three or four minute star. Even though it could have been so much faster if I wasn't a B. Yeah, four minutes and 12 seconds. Wow. And we got the combat medal, at least. We got the combat medal. That's all that matters in this workaday world. I know I keep saying that. Uh, that is actually from Super Mario Frustration, if you have seen that. If you haven't, I warn you, it's very, very not safe for work. However, it's very funny. We never got the co the, the, the Comet Medal in Cosmic Cove? Oh, man. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go get that really quick. I will actually cut into the level, though, where it is. So I will see you guys there. Oh, wait, there's a hidden star here, too. Um... Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, we have to do the Luma. Okay, well, you know what? Let's just not cut anything out ever. That was a stupid idea to begin with. Let's get ourselves a shell, and let's do stuff. This is a coin Luma, I'm pretty sure. Um, so let's just get all the coins we can find, which is easier said than done, honestly. Um, we can kind of turn those guys into star bits for no reason except murder. Um, other than that, though, Oh, hey, look, look at that. A lot more star bits. Those are still not coins, however. Um, okay. Want to dive? Yes, I do. Thank you for telling me how to press Z. Uh, spinning in Mario Galaxy 1 was a lot nicer, because you, you could sit here and just kind of spin endlessly, and it made you move a lot faster. I mean, honestly, honestly, what you want is the shell. That is the best way to move. However, spinning was viable in Mario Galaxy, at least. Um, not so much in this game. Also, those were not... Those were not coins at all. How disappointing. Um, I guess, the, from here on, this is the first coin you see in the entire level. Okay, well, with that in mind, I think we have to get 30 of these things. Wait, did that guy turn into... Stay away from me, puffer thing, and holy crap, you spit me far. No, he turned into star bits. For a second, I thought if I whacked them... 
like if I spun them, instead of shining light on them, they were turned into coins. However, they definitely do not do any sort of that thing. Oh, well, spinning, spinning seems to be working here all right. Uh, oh, if you hold A and spin, uh, yeah, that seems more legit. Get that coin. Uh, I don't know if it disappears. I don't know if that's on a time limit. Uh, okay. So we have nine. How many does that Hungry Luma actually want? Is it actually 30? 30 is a lot. Uh, I know he's right here. Yeah, you are a coin Luma. Do you want 15? 15, okay. I knew it was 15 or 30. I just never voiced my thinking that it might be 15. Ow! Uh, and there's the Kama Metal. Oh yeah, it's down by the eel. Okay. Well, at least there's a coin down here too. I don't feel completely bad about coming back to this level now, because there's a hidden star to get, and we needed to get the combo medal. So everything went better than expected, uh, and I did not need to dive there. That was just me being dumb. Yeah, the A button, if you hold the A button and spin at the same time, which honestly I did not realize... I just shot away my method of transportation. That would be like, hey, I have a car! I feel so good about myself. And then you just, like, drive your car off a cliff and jump out of it at the very last second. Okay, I cannot seem to work my jumping out of the water magic and jump on that guy. So we're gonna pretend that he never existed and go over here and ignore him for forever. And he shall be the loneliest kid on the playground and we shall never talk about him again because he never truly was a child. Wow, I am just cruel. I am cruel. Uh, oh, there's coins up top. There's coins on that stuff. And then I can proceed to bounce on him. Um, okay, thank you. Now if I just come over here, we can go, uh, fall off, thank you, and coin. Okay, that's 13. We only need two more, uh, which should be relatively easy if I could just get out of the damn water. <laughs> okay, thank you. Now there's you, right in the middle there, proceeding to be waiting to be bounced upon. Proceeding to be waiting. Th those are like two nearly opposite Okay, just bounce along the edges of this thing. Oh, uh, come back here, I say. Um, oh, there's three up there by the waterfall. I just never froze the water, so we shall never see the light of day again. We shall be within a cave forever and ever, amen. And we shall never ever see our parents, children, Wii remotes, anything. It shall all remain at home. And our cave shall be filled with chocolate and candy and other things that we can live upon. However, we will probably get fat and then die of obesity. At least we won't die of starvation. I mean, obesity is, well, honestly, that's probably a worse way to die than starvation. Just get so fat that you die. Wow. That's kind of depressing. Tur just, just move on. Get over here with this thing. Is this the bunnies? I think it is. Yeah, it is. Okay. Well, there's a bunny there. We need to catch him. It's really, really difficult and possibly impossible. Unless you freeze everything. Boing! Okay. So once everything's frozen, however, he becomes relatively easy to catch. Um, as long as you just don't stop moving and don't stop believing, you will get him. See? There's nothing that difficult about it. And you only have to catch one. It's not three like the beginning of Mario Galaxy 1. So, once you get your one, one bo boing bunny, uh, we can get ourselves the star. And I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Super Mario, Gal Super Mario Galaxy 2. It's been fun. However, alas, our time constraints, the, ti the time constraints upon your day, whenever you're watching this, you only have so much time, most likely. I only have so much time to record, and this episode's been long as it is. So, as sad as it is to say goodbye, we must do it, just like Mr. Rogers. So, until next time, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you're having a fantastic day.